Oh, um, so, uh, yeah, so this is Michael Rappaport getting upset by the climate change <laughs> activists for I throwing love... tomato soup on a Van, Van, a Van Gogh. A Van Gogh. A Van Gogh. Why did Van Gogh cut off his head? <laughs> I love this. The, the name of the video is Two Lunatics Ruined a Vinny Van... Vinny Van Gogh. Van Gogh. That's Jesus that. Christ. Masterpiece and Rappaport hates them. And then it's hashtag Vincent Van Gogh. There they have the respect to call him his full name. Hashtag tomato. Hashtag environment. <laughs> hashtag tomato? <laughs> yeah, look. Hashtag Vincent Van Gogh. Hashtag tomato. Hashtag environment. <laughs> Which is, him putting hashtag environment is bringing more attention to their cause. Oh, God. He got into a fight with Chapo Trap House. And I couldn't clip this. I couldn't find the clip of this. They wouldn't let me clip this off of Chapo's page. He goes, he goes those guys appropriating, he's like, those guys appropriate hip hop culture, but they do it all wrong. The whole style is chump. Who's appropriating hip-hop culture? Chapo? Because they're called Chapo Trap House. Oh, okay. I guess that... Wow. He's like, they trying to do it all ironic. That's fucking a reach, The style dude. is chump. style is chump. The style is chump. Jeez, it's weird to, to be as old as he is and still use, like, 80s street slang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, weird. that stuff goes deep back deeper. Um, that's from a, That's from an old gang movie. Oh, black exploitation man. Weirdo, you, you little creep, and Vincent Van Gogh, who had a miserable life. He had a fucked up life. Vinnie Van Gogh's life was terrible. <laughs> he had mental illness. He was broke. No one bought his paintings. He was a vagrant. He was. He was. All that's bullshit, by the way. All that's a myth. Okay, he had. Definitely had mental problems. He cut his ear off. Well, he's a great artist. He definitely was mentally ill. But but this is all bullshit. He was not an outsider in the art world. They did not find his paintings in some attic and go, "This is genius." He's so far yeah. ahead of his time. He was one. Of, he was connected to the art world. His family was very wealthy. His brother was very wealthy. His brother was one of the leading art dealers in Europe, and that's why. And by the way, I just found this out. I didn't even know this. He was discovered in his time. He just had a meltdown at TMZ and accidentally shot himself. <laughs> like I said, he, yeah, he's definitely <laughs> mentally ill. I didn't know that that was a thing that people tried to say. That doesn't even make sense. Did you ever see the Starry Night where he wrote on Starry Night, um, I love being bipolar, so do I? <laughs> you never saw that? No, I know you were, uh, the Vinny Van Gogh thing, dude. You that reminds Vinnie me of. Van Gogh. Do you remember? You remember? You ever heard that song? I think it was LFO, like Chinese food makes me sick. You remember that? <laughs> He's like, "Yo, you like a Sonic from Will Shakespeare? You remind me of a Sonic from Will Shakespeare." My boy, Bill Shakespeare. Or dudes, or dudes, that, or like religious people that call like my main main man JC. He's got a he's got a message for you. Those are usually the more casual level of ra of race styles that are religious <laughs> people. People that say, "My man JC." My man JC. <laughs> you heard the word from my man JC. You know who the first rapper was. All right, all right. It's like people that that don't know Robert De Niro but still call him Bob. You knew who the first rapper was Jesus Christ. What? <laughs> How was much like, of the what? Bible, was any of the Bible written by uh, Jesus? I don't think so. Just the parts they don't pay attention to anymore. Just the part TMZ edited out, right? <laughs> that is so crazy, though. A fucking... Somebody's got to say something. A celebrity tabloid, like, television channel didn't use... That... There's something there. Well, dude, I mean, TMZ, I mean, be like, dude, I'm gonna... very disappointed in the journalistic integrity of TMZ as well. Well, that's the whole thing. I know, though. I know, you're right. No, I'm not being ironic. I'm Those saying, I just, just know how funny it sounds you know? to say that. Yeah, that's true. But it's, that's but true. it's true. Also, also saying, how could TMZ like if you not can't trust T this more yeah. is also, yeah, how could, is also silly. Yeah, if you can't trust TMZ, who can you trust? 
I mean, what that that means is some shady dealings went on behind the scenes. I wonder if uh, to silence that. I wonder what Dave Chappelle's take on all this. If Dave Chappelle's just like, man, I'm done with Kanye, man. Kanye is too crazy for me. I, uh, you know, dude, uh, I, I have a feeling they all knew. I have a feeling he knew uh, about he, it too. If he replaced Jews with trans people, I would still be Kanye's boy, but. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get dropped by whatever company makes my weird misshaped V-neck shirts. <laughs> oh, dude, Kanye got dropped by TJ Maxx. I heard about that, and then I was like, "Wait, Kanye was at TJ Maxx?" Yeah, what? I thought he was this like design genius, and they're like rocking his, his shit at J.C. Penney's. Well, like from what I saw, I didn't even know that Kanye. Like, whenever the whole thing about Adidas dropping, I didn't even know that that's what his shoes Yeezy was like an Adidas. I just remember the first time his whole like fashion thing started coming about. It was just like t-shirts, plain t-shirts that were like $400. And so I was just like, I don't care about this. Yeah, that's, this guy's and then an idiot. never looked into it. Like, I have no idea what any of his... And those, his clothes were ugly. I was, I was, well, yeah, that's the whole thing. It's high fashion or that's what he wanted it to be. But it's, yeah. I don't know. That's yeah. what he was trying to emulate, and it's just, I agree, absolutely hideous. I don't know if I've ever seen a person, but I also don't know what the shoes look like. I'm pretty sure they're like sneakers, but it looks like burlap instead of like sneaker material. They just look like weird outer space Martian feet or something. I don't know. But listen to how Michael Rappaport gets mad. This is just so funny how infuriate, how infuriate. He was fucking mine. He was nuts. He cut his own Kanye. ear off. He was that fucking nuts. He cut his own ear off. And you two little shits want to desecrate his painting? Hey, you're, you're all about the global this and the the, the, the heating and the oil and, and the fraction, the, the, what are the, the fractors, factors, what is it, faction, faction? Thank you for letting us know you have literally no concern about the fact that in 10 years... We're going to be flooded. Florida's going to be gone. (laughs) Thank you. It's called fracking. The fracking? Nice. What about the fuck? I want to go to the goddamn museum. I don't want to see a Vincent Van Gogh painting with (laughs) tomato soup on it. I want to see the Vincent Van Gogh painting the way he intended me to see it. But you ruined that. You (laughs) ruined it, you little shits. I can't even go to see the Vincent Van Gogh sunflower painting the way he intended. He cut... He cut his fucking ear off. <laughs> That's how much he... Talk about the Mamba mentality. Talk about the Van Gogh mentality. He cut his fucking ear off. Mamba mentality. Thinking about a way to create this... That's <laughs> not why he cut his ear off. I love the idea. I can't come up with a good idea, so I'm going to cut my ear off. <laughs> I, got, I got some real bad writer's block right now. I think I'm just going to lose a body part. Dude, Maybe I haven't... Know. I have this new bit. Yeah, exactly. I got this new bit about cutting off. Dude, the last bit I did was that whole Ron Jeremy thing. That's the last thing I come up with. I'm at the point where I might have to cut off my pinky. (laughs) (laughs) Just to talk about cutting off my pinky. (laughs) He cut his ear off, right? He couldn't come up with an idea. He cut his ear off, and then as he's sitting there and bleeding, waiting for the ambulance or whatever, he looks up and he goes, Oh, I'll paint the stars. Yeah. <laughs> he cut his ear off. He cut his fucking it was for ear a off. Woman, no? Your whole style is wasn't chump. It, wasn't it for a woman? No, he uh, got into an argument with Paul Gauguin because he was not an outsider. One of his buddies at the time was a world famous painter. And, uh, real quick, you'll remember this. I'm a stand-up comic, well, that's my line, and I'd like to know your Zodiac, Z-Z-Z-Zodiac, 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 son, there's a line, Z-Z-Z-Zodiac, Z- when I'm a stand <laughs> The last time I played that, you laughed. That's wild. <laughs> that was Barry Sobel, he was a... Uh... He's a comedian. He's an '80s comedian whose entire act was "I'm white and I rap." But that that wasn't even supposed to be like rap these days. No, he does a rap. 
And that was part of the rise. The z- 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 Zodiac. He got That's... an applause break in one of those. I'm serious. Well, yeah, this is, it was stand up in the 80s. It was, <laughs> but remember we were talking about horrible. everybody has a gimmick? Yeah, it was lawless horridness. That's an idea, day. by the way, for that Halloween thing. It's, oh, he's dead. Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> Shit, you're right. Let's kill him. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna, it's worth the pit. It's worth I'm it for a not bit. Gonna do anything for it. All right, let's hear. He gets madder and madder, and then you got to hit the punchline at the end. The punchline at the end is the I best. Just, he cut his ear off. He cut his ear off. You guys are getting mad. He cut his ear off. Tomato Yo. soup, no grilled Yo, cheese. Chump. Your whole style is chump. Your whole style is chump. <laughs> grilled cheese with the tomato. He was the soup. dopest painter. Vinny Van Gogh was the dopest painter. You know my cousin Vinny Van Gogh. <laughs> cut his ear off. Beautiful painting, and you desecrated with tomato soup, you little shit, you. You wasted two good cans of tomato soup, and then you go on a speech about how people can't afford to eat. Hey, Nevada. <laughs> hey, Nevada. John Legend's, uh, John Legend's here out here endorsing candidates. Get out there and vote. Otherwise, Kanye what... West is going to be the Secretary of State. I wonder what the check that, that was cut to him for, for this looked like. Do you know Vegas will fall into chaos? What a random if, get, dude. I got John If abortion Legend. is banned, what? So what a random get. She got John Legend to fucking... He's not from Vegas or anything, is he? Why does he care about... Oh, because he's probably... Oh, he's, they're be, probably going all over the country. It could be a Congress. It could be a Congress. It's probably all over the country. Also, he's probably sending those all over the country. That's a good point. It's like cameos. <laughs> this might be our last election, what if, dude. What if that is? What if it was just cameos? Like, like people get cameos from celebrities. Oh yeah, yeah. To be political endorsements. Oh, fucking John Fetterman did that with Snooki. Really? With Dr. Oz, because Dr. Oz is from Jersey. And she's like, "Hey, this is your girl Snooki." And she's like, "Dr. Oz, why don't you come back to Jersey? We miss you." And that was it. That was no, great. I mean to have like to get like Snooky to be like, "Go out and register." Go out and register to vote. Revote, vote Kamala Harris, twenty twenty four. Like you know what I mean? Or local politicians doing like getting like fucking Fanny Jim ass. Norton or something. I yeah. would do that. Yeah, like you know. Be be with celebrities to do cameos endorsing you. Oh yeah, because they do. You know, it'd be two hundred bucks tops, and you you get someone somewhat. You get Kanye. No, Kanye wouldn't do a two hundred dollar cameo. Kanye, he thinks like... too, he thinks too highly of himself. No, I mean he's literally worth hundreds and if not a billions of dollars. He's worth four hundred million dollars. Yeah, like no, he's not, he was worth a billion. Dollars. If he, if he put up something on cameo it would probably be like it's gonna cost thirty five thousand dollars to get me to talk for 15 seconds that it would you know what i mean like right. he tried to sell t-shirts for four hundred dollars paul do you think he's gonna do two hundred dollar cameos he's not having a problem wishful thinking on my part he's michael not having Rappaport a problem we can get, getting though. his his voice heard michael Rappaport, we can get plus all the hurt stuff i've heard you say about the people he's talking about i'm surprised you're not more on his side what do you mean uh I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Paul, oh, oh, you mean Paul, Kanye? Paul loves the people that Kanye is talking about. You got you crazy glued your hands to the wall. Honestly, if I had been at the MoMA or the Met, Let's see him punch him. and that happened when I was there, and these little fucking twerps had crazy glued their hand to the wall, I'd have ripped their fucking crazy glue hand off the wall. I would, I would, I would have bugged uh, out. Uh, you got no uh, right doing that, and I hope they lock you the fuck up for ten years, and we'll see what kind of. You'll be coming out talking a whole new song. In oh, Europe? Lock you up and the only thing they serve you is processed, processed meat, because I'm sure they're vegetarians. Only ve- when the Republicans take away my Social Security, I'm going to Europe, and I'm going to figure out a way to get myself into a European prison. Yeah, That's guy, my retirement plan. You know who Varg is? Oh, yeah, I see this. Are you talking about? Are you talking about the guy that, that killed his roommate and ate him? No. Oh, no. that's the Norwegian prison. No, it's a uh, he's a he's a black metal. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's one of those. Yeah. he killed a drummer from another band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, he did prison and released albums in prison. Like you get like computers and shit. Like it, it does seem pretty chill. Yeah, you get I'm a wake up call. You get a lie. wake up call. You'd be like, hey man, you get do not disturb signs. Terry act like that. 
Vegetarian. Nothing suspects to the vegetarians out there, but only a vegetarian. <laughs> no offense to vegetarians. <laughs> Probably vegetarian. They're all pussies that glue hands to the walls. Yo, you like, yeah, if you're jogging, you're like the kind of scumbag that would... <laughs> vegetarians are chump. Don't hate, but their style's chump. <laughs> I hate not vegetarians, but they're the worst people who ever... <laughs> Malnourished is eating green Malnourished. juices. Malnourished. And Malnourished. And, Malnourished. And, and, and like, you know, nuts... Has the audacity is so selfish and so so so, so chump. about themselves, so narcissistic that you protest Big word. by ruining Vinnie Van Gogh's painting. <laughs> chop this fucking ear off to create, and you ruined it. You to ruined create. it for the rest of the world. Now it turns out that these two little shits who identify as pigs, these two little pigs, got lucky because allegedly you don't know what to believe anymore. But allegedly, they had glass over the Vinnie Van Gogh painting. <laughs> the sunflowers painting had glass over it. Thank goodness. <laughs> but this is what it is, though. This is a start of trend. You'll see other little shits. Other little ugly. <laughs> so he just so, got mad for nothing. Uh, yeah, but as soon as you told me about it, I was just like, do they not have it behind some sort it's of like glass fix? It's like million yeah. dollars. <laughs> Like in the Louvre, like yeah, I feel like they have it protected probably. Wait, they left a four hundred million dollar painting, and they just let strangers go near it. <laughs> I mean, they could have been like, I'm pretty sure Tom Hanks got to have like the raw experience of the Mona Lisa, whatever, because of a fucking what was that crazy? Movie? Why did Van Gogh cut off his ear? And what was the nature of Van Gogh? Van Gogh. Where's his ear and why is it gone? <laughs> Thank God there was glass. 